was very different. You all probably have booked on internet. But during our time, we didn't have internet, we didn't have smartphone, uh, we didn't have YouTube around that time. YouTube was just getting started. We didn't have Facebook. So I'm talking about that that time, which is 2005. Right? 2005, I, Diwali, I went to a travel agent to book a ticket. And uh, the way the tickets were sold is when you go to an agent to ask a seat, the agent calls the bus operator. Right? He calls the bus operator on phone and says, do you have a seat for Bangalore to Hyderabad for so-and-so date? And the bus operator looks up his book. In book, he makes a note, okay, for 29th August, how many seats have I sold? For 28th August, how many seats have I sold? So if somebody asks for a seat on 29th August, he goes to that page and sees if there are any seats. Right? If there are any seats, he tells the agent on the phone saying that, yeah, uh, okay, there's a seat number 11 which is available. And the agent writes that down on a piece of paper and gives sells that as a ticket. Okay? So that's how the tickets were sold. So every time you wanted a ticket, you had to go to an agent and the agent will make a phone call to the bus operator to find out any seats and then give the seat to you. Right? So that was fine. Every time I went there, I got a seat. But in Diwali of 2005, when I went to this agent, the agent made the first phone call to the operator and the operator said there are no seats. Right? Then the agent called the second bus operator saying, hey, do you have any seats? The second bus operator said, he also doesn't have any seats. Then he called the third operator and the fourth operator. After calling like three, four operators, he told me there are no seats from Bangalore to Hyderabad. Right? Just, then I said, okay, there are no seats. But just when I was leaving his office, uh, his shop, he told me maybe another agent could get me a seat. Right? That's when I was like intrigued. Why are you as an agent not able to get me a seat? Why is that other guy able to get me a seat? Right? Then I realized there are about 30 bus operators who run buses from Bangalore to Hyderabad. But uh, these agents were calling only 5 of them. Right? So even if I went to like 4 or 5 different agents and even if they uh, called 5 operators each, I will not be sure that they called all the 30 operators because some of them may be overlapping. Right? And it may so happen that one of the bus operator had a seat which went vacant from Bangalore to Hyderabad. because no agent called him, right? If indeed a seat went vacant, that was a loss to the bus operator, right? Because the bus would burn the same amount of fuel, they'll pay the same salary to the driver, but they went with one seat less. And it was a loss to all these four or five travel agents that I went to because they didn't call the right bus operator. Are you all with me? Right? And it was a loss to me because I desperately wanted that seat, but I didn't know where to buy. So all the three of us were losing. I was losing, the agent was losing, and the bus operator was losing. Why? Because the information about seats was not available seamlessly. Right? It was not available to uh, like without calling. Right? Then it stuck me. I got this idea saying, okay, can we write a software, can we create a website where all the bus operators come and publish what seats they have. Right? So that when I go to the first agent, that agent instead of calling the bus operators, to just go onto that website and see, oh, 30 operators, how many of them have seats? So imagine all the books that the bus operators have, that's all published on a website. So nobody has to call anybody. Are you all with me? Right? So that was the idea that I got. I said, okay, let's create that website. Yeah? Created that website where all the bus operators started putting their uh, information about their buses. Then all the travel agents started using it. Then all the customers said, okay, now I don't have to go to the agent, I'll buy directly. The customers started buying directly and uh, it became the country's largest uh, bus ticketing company. Right? So that's, so it just started with a pain point and an idea. Right? That's why it's very important. See, like uh, in skill plus, like one of the things that you learn is to be proactive. Right? I'm reading your t-shirts. It says problems start with they and uh, solutions start with I. Right? So, so you, see, you have to nurture, nurture that spirit in you to solve those problems, right? Whenever you see a problem, that enthusiasm, what do I, what I mean by spirit is that enthusiasm to solve, right? Enthusiasm to speak out if something is going wrong, enthusiasm to ask questions, enthusiasm to get involved, right? When you have, when you build that enthusiasm, right, it will help you in situations like that. When you miss a bus, you will get this brilliant idea, right? If I didn't have the enthusiasm, what would I have done? Oh, I missed the bus. Oh, Mama, I'm not coming. Put the phone, go to a movie, enjoy, eat some nice biryani and sleep, right? 
But if you have that enthusiasm, your life will change. Not only your life, the life of so many others will change because they are now able to book ticket directly. Not only that, right? Today, Redbus is present in six countries, right? It's present in Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, so many other countries. So this is one of those software products. See, if you look at all the software products, right? We use Google, we use Facebook, we use Instagram, we use so many of these. All of them come from some other country, right? And now we have some software that we create in India, which is going to other countries. You go to Singapore, you'll see Red Bus there. You go to Indonesia, you'll see Red Bus there. It's such a proud thing, right? I never thought we'd be able to do something like that. It all happened because as a child, you nurture that enthusiasm to do things, to solve those things. And then in life, you'll get one opportunity where all that, uh, right? I mean, that, uh, that thing will materialize into something that, uh, uh, that will make not only uh, that will make you proud not only you but your family and your whole town and your whole country right so please uh, uh, like uh, uh, indulge yourself in solving problems in uh, asking questions in learning and etc thanks a lot yeah <laughs>